So we're headed over to WPTV, the local NBC station, to talk about traffic. We're going to go take a look at uh, the impact when the president gets here and the Chinese president get here. You know, Palm Beach, this is the season. This is when uh, people are here. The population expands. People from all over the world come to Palm Beach. It's an international destination that has never seen anything like what's about to happen, where the president of China, president of the United States, are both going to be here, and uh, it's going to going to shut the city down. When the president comes, is it always a big story, or you guys are used to it? You know, what's become the big story yeah. is the impact yeah. on the daily routine or right. people's lives, right. not so much why is he here right. or what he's talking right. about. Traffic is the main deal. We don't know when he's going to play golf or when he's going to leave, and so when that happens, that's just kind of sudden and makes an impact because of the rolling roadblocks right. and the air restrictions, right. the ocean restrictions, the intercoastal, the intracoastal restrictions, all of those go into place. They're in place now. Right. And so really when the president comes, and this is the sixth time since he was inaugurated, people have right. become aware to stay away from Palm Beach, which sometimes frustrates businesses. Right. Fortunately for us and for the president, the trip from the airport to Mar-a-Lago is really quick. Right. Are people excited that the President of the United States, this weekend the President of China, are coming here or? This visit has a different kind of feel to it. There's a sense of, you know, Palm Beach is becoming important, not just in Florida, not even just in the East Coast or in the country, but across the world. This is Dave. Um, Dave, I'm Mark. How are you? Nice to see you. What's a news day like here when the President's here? Like, when he's here, is, is, is that what people talk about? Or now that he's been here a couple times, people are over it? Hurricanes are the biggest story yeah. we've covered. We've covered uh, this is like a political hurricane. This is a political <laughs> hurricane. It's not really a political area. Yeah. I mean, you don't walk into a grocery store and people are talking politics. Right. Um, so unless it's something that disrupts our day-to-day -day life, it's not something that on a daily basis they're going to talk about. Right. Our biggest story primarily is the security. Um, we had the sheriff speaking about it. He said he's treating this as a hurricane situation. Uh, we're going to be uh, along the route. We're going to be at the airport. We're going to be talking about traffic and impact and the different protests that are taking place. That's a massive green screen. That's kind of awesome. We've got the news anchors there. We've got traffic there, weather there. And today, we got traffic and weather hey guys, colliding. Good morning. Well, our traffic really moving along pretty well so far this morning. All right, if I click. This is better than a Wii. <laughs> there we go. So okay. here's Palm Beach International Airport. Right, little Air Force One. And that's where the yes. Chinese President Xi will land as well? Yes. Okay. Yep. This visit is compared to the previous ones. More closures, more law enforcement, or? A lot more law enforcement, absolutely. Um, we're talking double, mm -hmm. according to the sheriff. Right. They'll head southern all the way across that bridge right to Mar-a-Lago right here. Um, and typically the president has come in during rush hour, right. which has created a headache for right. people in that area. Mostly private residences? So yes. there are businesses there? Any no, hotels? not really. Very much private residences. So yeah. those are the people whose lives are the most directly impacted. Yeah, the island is not that big. Right. And there's not a lot of roads. Right. So any time that you have this, it's going to back things up. It's going to make it more complicated. Right. Show me where the protest areas are. So they usually come along Bingham Island, uh -huh. and that's pretty much as close as they can get. You can see more protesters on the streets, more street closures are gonna start going up. You got some pro-Trump people around. Uh, here's a pro-Trump display of sorts. Uh, incredible, we, we may need to shoot that thing, right? Yeah, we gotta shoot that. Make a U-turn, please. This is yours, sir? Yes, it's owned by our family, and we are Trump supporters, as you can. It's subtle, but I can tell you're a Trump supporter. This sign, I think, is new for this week, right? It's new for this week. Is the rest of it new or everything no, else? No, underneath is something called Finiat. It's made out of two Mercedes station wagons put together. I can't really describe what it is. It's like a manifestation of support. Thank you again. Jeff Green is your typical Palm Beach billionaire. going to find out what he thinks of Mr. Trump comes to Palm Beach. And so basically good. there are no poor people in this part of town. There's no poor people, people anywhere. Doing and, even, well. and even the poorest people aren't poor here <laughs> by, by national standards. 
Steve Schwartzman's there's his house. The first house is Jim Clark, who started Netscape. Uh -huh. It's on the market now for, I think, $169 million. Uh, is, this, is this area have a name, this neighborhood? They call it Billionaire's Row. I don't know why. Billionaire's Row? Yeah, I can't imagine it. why. This is Rod Stewart's house. He's here. Right here? Slow down. Rod Stewart's house. Does he come here a lot? He's, he comes whenever we eat Christmas every year. Yeah. This one here is Paul Tudor Jones. Uh huh. This is Mar-a-Lago. I guess I can't leave right now. Wow, what's going on here? Can we go ask him? I live next door. How long till I can get across the bridge? Yeah, we'll wait till the barricades get put up. Well, Starting the, when? What's going to be shut down? This whole bridge? Southern Boulevard Bridge is being closed this trip? Yes, sir. So here we are. We can get out on the beach if you want to really look back at Mar a Lago. I don't know. You know, somebody said to me, why doesn't he just do this in the White House? I said, well, you know, if, as an American, yeah. where do you want your president to be involved in one of the most important negotiations for our country? He wanted to be where he's most comfortable. Kind of crazy to think. It's almost like this is sort of the White House. Right. It's surreal. The day you were there and they seated you next to him as president, what was like the mood in the room like? It's no different than when he was there before. He was commenting on the um, pretzel bread to me and asking me what I thought of it. How hey, you doing? Hi. Big fan, Steve Gottwald. Steve, what are you doing here? You live here? I live here. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about the disruption of the traffic. What's that like? Oh, it's no big deal. No big deal. No, it really isn't. I mean, people learn to navigate. There are three bridges, so right. we can all navigate. It's not so bad. And do people who live here now feel like, not that Palm Beach wasn't on the map before, but now you're like the center of the universe? Well, we're a little publicity shy yeah. for the most part, most right. people, especially the old timers. Right. So yeah, but it's still exciting. It's, it's just great. One of the first times he flew out, we had something called the flyover, Southern Boulevard, the, the flyover. And when he was taking off, although I've seen many Air Force One leave from here, it was just, you know, I had goosebumps watching that plane fly out. It's a over. very big, loud, gigantic plane. My last question is, to explain to people who don't know what the season is. Well, out of season is blissful. <laughs> it's beautiful. As we say, we get our village back. Okay. Uh, in season, there's no other place in the world that has such great weather. George Bennett is a political reporter for the Palm Beach Post. He's been here since 1992. Uh, he's covered Trump before he was president when he was writing about the real estate business here. Before he ran for president, before he got elected, right. what was his relationship with Palm Beach? A little bit of a parallel or, or of, of his political experience. When he first came here, Palm Beach has this very old, staid establishment. Right. And he was this brash, anti-establishment guy coming on the scene and mm -hmm. ruffling a lot of feathers right. and offending a lot of people. Right. You know, when he first proposed to change Mar-a-Lago, making it a private club, you know, people in Palm Beach, you know, you thought he was going to put up a neon casino or something. Right. I mean, it was just, you know, there was a lot of pearl clutching over right. there. Now, you know, 20 years later, it's kind of the accepted, established part of Palm Beach. So you've been here for Air Force One arrival, right? Yeah. How does this today compare? Uh, this, you know, this, there's usually about this many people. They get to stand in this pen and then... Uh, he doesn't come over though, right? No, a lot of times he'll come over. He will. Okay. So uh, that's kind of the big suspense element, right. especially on Facebook Live. He's done it three or four times. Right. Normally they'll have us go in here, but normally there's a checkpoint. We, I think we probably came early. If we're here, maybe we can at least see Trump land. 